saw infantry section off in the distance. Oh! Mortar! Hey guys, before the main video starts, if you want to support the channel, again, like, subscribe, or become a channel member. Every little bit helps, and I greatly appreciate everyone who watches this video. Enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Grayshot17, and today I'm covering a 4v4 on the map, uh, Monte Cava? So, we got ourselves a number of key combatants here. Uh, we got ourselves, let's see, James with no name, uh, Mason Freaks, Steve McQueef, uh... I, I, what? V Nuclina? What? Uh, let's, we'll call him Stream for the time being. We got Mr. Ch oh, God damn it. Mr. Chalk, uh, Musty, Omni, can we do Omni Man, and OD Coop. Okay, so we got two Brits, two Americans, versing three Vermach and, uh, one Doc player. On... A pretty good 4v4 map, in my opinion. If you have a game with some weird names and some awesome combat, submit it to my Gmail or Discord down below. And I co cover replays for Company Bros 2, Company Bros 3, and I'm looking into doing replays for Men of War 2. Because I just I've been looking at that replay system and it looks pretty damn sweet. So let's get to uh Company Bros uh 3 in this capacity. And uh, yes, I will be covering some Company Bros 2 replays. Uh, later on, so I try to get a nice mix of both. All right, so uh, half track is well, you know, taking the position. Uh, let's see, we got mortars. Any interesting units? Anything of note? Um, Panzer Pioneer, I guess, early on. So maybe a flame, a clown car by chance. Uh, pioneers here. Bit of an MG spam by by stream. What about red? No, red has a decent chunk of units. Nothing? Oh, double! Double clown car by James with no name. Alright, James. I'm curious to see your strat. Now, he's fighting against allies. In this case, we have uh, mainly a front line force, heavy armor, advanced infantry, Omni going airborne, and OD going Australian. Lots of good battle groups. Lots of good variety. I'm super excited. No cheap... Well, no, you still have cheap caches via the Australian one. Uh, we got ourselves the Italians. Mason Freaks has yet to pick anything. Steve McQueef went breakthrough. And we got ourselves mechanized. So, again, uh, a nice wide variety. MG flanking. I love this flank. Hitting three squads. Here comes the half track coming on in. He's in his own territory. So, if he's getting the upgrade, which let's double check to see if he got it. Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, uh, no. Oh, no, he did get the upgrade. I'm so sorry. They're just getting 30 munitions per turn. And we have another half truck coming on in. Oh boy. He's pulling back this one. He can probably heal it pretty quick. Again, MG is in the building. But a flamethrower gets in the, the building as well to burn out this MG to counter the man. Very nice. So there goes the Mason Freaks running away at full speed. But double flamethrower. Oh, bad idea. I would have healed that half track before engaging. I know it's because it's pretty weak, all things considered, especially if all his MG section turn the fire at it. This squad probably is a flamethrower, I would assume, right? They've captured a victory point. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong guy profile at the bottom. This guy's about to get double flamethrowers on his troops. Dude, don't heal that close. The troops are, like, not even that far. I mean, balls, be ballsy if you want, but oh my god. So, let's see. We have Australian infantry and infantry section pushing on in. Looks like the Gradiers are busy with the other infantry section up here. That's thanks to Musty. Up north, MG's kind of pushing back the American force. But there is a... Oh my god, is this a mortar? Oh my god, mortar, MG's barely alive. A lot of MG focus for hit this guy. Omni going very support heavy. But the Austra... Oh my god. Paratroopers dropping in behind the lines to hit him. So stream is... Oh. Mo he has all stationary forces about to be flanked pretty easily. And now the mortar pit's opening fire on him. So with the mortar busy... Oh, that's pretty funny. Although this, uh, this MG's here and it's healing. So that could be pretty bad. Flavor units actually successfully drove the allies out. So good for him. And now they're just cruising along the map. Oops, sorry. And now they're burning troops on the way out. 
Isn't it nice to have a classic co-strats back? Or not back, but being used. In this case, the clown car. Just burning your enemy uh, on the while they retreat. To be fair, some of the flames are actually hitting their own allies. But uh, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, I don't think they can kill that building. They could potentially cause some havoc to those um, Royal Engineer squads moving around. It looks like the uh, Mortar Pit's still causing a little bit of an issue, the MG and such. They can reinforce with that half-track, so I don't think it's too much of an issue. And then the Mortar can return fire and slowly kill that. Uh, while the, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Uh, more, uh, well, the, not Mortar. The half-track reinforces the Mortar, so really only one side's healing in that fight. Clown Car pulling on back. Uh, took some hits, but did get out. It is interesting he's going with the strat. What else is he deploying? Oh, he got an MG. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Time, 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 time. Time, time, time. He's going Italian infantry. He's getting, um, he's doing the clown car strat in order to get, uh, what's it called? Uh, Gustatori. That's, I, he's saving up the manpower for, uh, that, that's my opinion. For, uh, a Gustatori force. Is, is that what he's doing? Because he's 800 manpower and he's not got any other frontline troops. Okay, so James is no name. I'm guessing that's what he's doing. Allies are in a tough spot, but they do have a lot of allied forces, rangers included. P about to press that hill. MG's other forces will need to get ready for that counterattack. Again, the clown cars are pretty banged up. Grenadiers are injured. Infantry section forcing them away. A lot of resources going to the Axis right now, so that will help them in the short term, especially if they're trying to get out some light armor here soon. Again, I'm uh, curious to see what his strat is. I'm guessing Gustatori and the uh, in infantry section. Sorry, the infantry section. Um, the L6s. Brain, uh, a small, uh, you know, brain fart as they saw infantry section off in the distance. Oh! Mortar! Oh my god, Mortar knocks that out. We were where the half tracks. Oh my god, they got out. Okay. Damn, that's unfortunate. Big old blob with a Greyhound pushing up the hill. A lot of Axis forces, and again, they have uh, healing going on thanks to this half track right here by Mason Freaks. Really good stuff, all things considered. So again, we'll see how long they hold. <laughs> they're, they capture territory very quickly, but they're just playing defense. Cool. American up north. We have scout units. The MG. Actually, a lot of MGs. And a half-track here to reinforce. So, both sides of a half-track. But one is a pack gun, which potentially could hit that if they have sight. They are grouped up, so the mortar could do a bit more damage. This MG seems to be focusing on the half-track itself as well. Again, this problem with grouping up your men like... Oh! Wait! He's activating the uh, airburst. That's very deadly. As you can slowly see. So good job on him. Breaking up the uh, that player. We have airborne troops being dropped behind. So it looks like the German player lost an MG42. Will lose the pack gun. Potentially thanks to the paratroopers. Oh, the scout units. I'm sorry. The scout units in the south. So that's two good steals. Oh, he has a quad mount. Oh, that's pretty fun. So we upgraded to the quad mount to take the hill. Nice. All right. So what, how's the uh, middle section going? Well, uh, middle guys are having some issues. He has rangers, but even then, there's so many German forces. From Panzergrenadiers being the medium close range variety. A large grenadier uh, group. A stug up here, which seems to be look, shooting down the hill. Uh, okay, we have a small two pounder. Is this two pounder? Yeah, two pounder. Bring it up there. Can barely penetrate that stug, but once it gets belt one, it has an awesome special ability. Do quite a bit of damage. All right. Additional supply drops being brought in. Pack gun barely alive. That thing is about to die with two shots to the face. Nice uh, grenades, by the way. Knocks out the MG. Thanks to the Rangers. They do pick it back up. German forces are buckling under the sheer ferocity of the Allied counterattack. Wonderful job by the Allies coming in like this. And again, they have some solid units, Greyhound and whatnot, but here comes the Stu. It's taking hits, but it can still fight. Pushing back the Greyhound. We have a uh, Bishop down there. Okay. Nebelwerfer coming on in to burn away a lot of the support equipment.
Nebuhar for a great ear is trying to heal on up. Again, I, I don't mind healing like this, right? But this is like a huge target for any if they have artillery or something. Uh, oh, wait. The allies do have artillery. And it'll probably open fire here as, as soon as the, they realize how big of a target it is. Okay. They're starting to separate a bit, but they're still choke pointing and there's still all this. So two pounder firing up the hill, being protected by the hover. We have a strike that was coming in. Oh, fire! Oh, that was actually a decent fire barrage. Hurt the armor and also pulverize a lot of the infantry. Oh, Rangers do have a forward base over here, so Nebuhar could target it. But again, that could be very sweet for a counterattack. So many Axis forces grouped up right here. By God. This is where recon really comes in handy. Any armor? Panther on the field. 11 minute Panther. Damn. That's a, that's an early Panther. That is a, that is, that is pretty, that's, that's horrifying. Have a Panther roll on up like that. Hover moving on in. Fight off the, uh, well, I guess I would say two fight, but uh, pull, pull back. Oh, right. I forgot to check in on uh, James with no name. Okay, so I guess he wasn't going for with the L6s and that. Thank you for the follow, by the way. But even though he wasn't going for it, he did get Gustatori. I just assumed you had so much manpower, you were going to get, like, two squads of them. to Like, because, again, with them with double flamethrowers, they're pretty damn effective. So I am not sure. Huh. Let's see, Panther right there, just kind of chilling, just going around. Greyhound on standby. AT gun moving on over. Try to target that. Nice shot, but it bounced. Stu coming on in, but it doesn't do much. Again, right now the, the front armor of the Axe is coming in clutch. Another fire barrage coming on in right on the allied lines. Allies has a couple uh, healing facilities and dropping in supplies you can see in the back. But the axes are definitely giving them hell. Hits the Greyhound with an awesome AT shot. So pack coming in clutch. And that's the pack 38. So Nebuhrfer dropping in uh, shots in the back. We have a bazooka blob coming around thanks to the northern player who has his sector, so he's slowly coming on down. So we gonna throw a satchel in there? They're, I mean, they're all right there. It's like, how's it going, guys? Don't mind us, we're just firing point blank outside the building. Uh, all right, they had to get out. German forces are uh, coming in mass. It looks like the bazooka teams had to pull back. There's just too much anti infantry firepower right there. Allies have the hill. They don't have the victory points, though. As you can see here, the allies are down by about 130 points. They're going to need to do something. Axis do have a bit of an opening, uh, or potential opening down here. It looks like they are trying to get down here and put defenses, but the British are coming in slowly but surely. And if they could crack this nut, although... There are a lot of tank traps. I will admit, looks like he was trying to fortify here. But if the Axis can, uh, or sorry, let me phrase that. If the Axis can't uh, lock down this position, it could be very bad. Uh, as the Allies could sweep a lot of territory. They could technically even take this. It's not, nothing really stopping them from just moving on up. Sure, armor would have trouble, but infantry wouldn't. Especially if they had sweepers. Instead, we have a big old... Battle for mid as artillery rages on both sides and continues to pound uh, each other to try to find that crucial breakthrough opportunity. Air support coming on in from the allied player. AT gun gets burned alive by the Nebelwerfer. Sherman is on the field. Rangers doing the best with bazookas and... Um, is that a bar? What troops? Oh, no, just bazooka. Almost dead, by the way, thanks to the Panzer IV. Again, looks like the flanking opportunity by the Brits may not be going as well as he likes. Uh, Panzer Pioneers. Oh, my God. Yeah, get in the building with the man as a flamethrower. That's a smart plan. Unless he's trying... Oh, he was trying to get a final shot on the half track. But still, that is a little bit risky. Because you take way more damage. 
And I think the Gustatori might kill it. Yeah, there it goes. I would run. Did they grab the weapon? No, it's still there. Okay. Matilda, a lot of anti fg firepower right there, forcing them back. Again, we have more artillery by Mr. Chalk over here. Combine that with, was it, was it Musty? Yeah, Musty's bishops, which they haven't gotten actually that many kills. So the allies seem to be giving out a lot of artillery. They're just not really hitting anything uh, of note. Which, the infantry's doing okay. The axes are slowly being pushed back. I mean, population-wise, we're looking at average in the... I would say upper 50s. Oh, wait! Hold on. They, uh, as I talk about more men, looks like the Allies brought out, uh, oh my god. They brought out, essentially, the the recruits to send in, okay, it's part of the Ranger Doctrine, you just send in, a, uh, like, this mass army with bazookas and, and, and infantry weapons. But they're actually pushing on up and allowing them to capture the territory. They don't like, they're not in the field for too long, all things considered. But they are helping the white heavy infantry. Like that uh, strobe trooping. Nebor for firing. Uh, probably should fire on that blob, honestly. Fire's hitting them. Uh, luckily, the allies do make it out, except for the MG. MG might cry. Might start crying here in a second. Uh, there it goes. Again, you have like three teams of bazookas. I know there's a good chance they will bounce, but there's also a very high probability they can still hit. Just given the sheer uh, amount of them. Gustatori comes on in, helps burn away a lot of the allied players. Looks like they're retaking mid, which again helps keep the axes on top. In this case, by 170 points. Massive bomber run coming on in. Devastating the axis pretty much everywhere. That's thanks to a creeping barrage by Odd, and also I'm gonna say Omni. Omni calling carpet barrage. That was a combined hit to bring all the Axis counterattack in and then smash it. What a play. What an ex excellent hit. Down south again, Infantry was able to walk through the defenses and were able to grab the territory. Uh, British armor standing back, but the Infantry can at least grab what they can. Axis did, in the meantime, take up Nor. So it seems like we have a little bit of a switcheroo with the northern position uh, falling to the Axis and the southern position falling to the Allies. The catch is the southern position is much less defended than the northern one. This has a Panther and a Brumbar. The other one has like two infantry squads with no AT. Like that's easy picking for like a Panzer III or any light armor to go kill. Like truthfully. Alright, MG-42 opening fire on, on the infantry, artillery now coming on in, a lot of, oh, we have an uh, airstrike coming on in, nice little strafe, smashes the infantry, Matilda coming on up, it's getting heals, but uh, it's really, it's anti-infantry firepower, it's doing quite a bit to hold back the Grand Ears. Empty section opening fire. We have lost control of a victory point. We have surplus munitions to support. Empty section opening fire on the MG, or sorry, the AT gun. Brumbar trying to take the hits, but you know, even with the two pounder Matilda not known for its penetration, they're still doing enough damage. Hold on, but a flanking maneuver coming on in by a Brumbar and a Panther, smashing the uh, repair functions. That does limit allied counter uh, counterattack potential if their tanks take longer to heal. But Hell Hellcat and Sherman fire from the top and seem to be pounding the Axis armor, killing the Brumbar with ease, thanks to the amount of AT coming on in. Additional reserves coming on up. We have multiple AT guns from a combined allied effort and a Hellcat from another team member, all coming in in a... In, in a uh, and a show of uh, allied cooperation against uh, against a singular Axis not. threat. I love that. Because it shows like, hey, you're fighting one player, but we're still going to help you out. We're not going to be like, eh, deal with your own battles. Brumbar trying to hit those Rangers, and it seems like that shot might be enough to force them away. Because otherwise, if they stay longer, they would risk dying. Uh, yet, they're very low. 
Uh, but we have a Flak 36 that was taken over by the American infantry. So good job there. It was able to force the Brumbar back. Panzer 3 is on the field. Again, more medical uh, stations coming up. I'm assuming to heal that uh, Flak 36. The, if they get it back up to operational status, it would make sure that uh, any armor is driven away. Sherman is coming on up, but it's probably going to face fire. But nope, it's immediately killed, and it'll take another, what, 20 seconds for another uh, infantry to come on over. Artillery's hitting that with everything it has to make sure they can't recruit it. Panzer III gets put down by the Hellcats, and even the Bulldozer providing a little fire support against Grenadiers. Seems to be an absolute kill zone with artillery. Grenadiers barely make it out of there alive. Lots of bouncing with the bulldozer there. Stug having a rough time. Lots of artillery though coming on in to kill the MG and try to force the armor away. MG is dead. Matilda coming in clutch. Does act, wait, hold on. Was that the Matilda? It was the Matilda. Pens the Stug. Not known for penetration, but still can get a couple good hits in. And by God, it did. Now another major armored swing is coming on in for the Panthers in the back. This, this time being backed up by infantry which seems to have done the trick. Artillery has been neutralized, and the armor is coming on in, but it is injured. If the Panthers play this right, he is trying to slowly pull back this Panther. They maybe could allow both of them to escape, but now with this much AT, with the AT gun and everything else, I don't think so. Actually, Half-Track might kill the Panzer Grenadier squad right there. Uh, it's going to be close, but I think he'll survive. Panther, not so lucky. One dies. The other one is probably going to survive if he gets if he gets the hell out of dodge but there's no mines nothing and pathfinding is not on his side if he fires directly through the smoke maybe they can kill it omni still giving chase panther is completely by itself and there it goes most of the attack power up here is gone and honestly wait this man has 500 munitions buddy if you have a position mine it up is a simple thing, but it could have saved your panther. Mines saves, uh, mines do enemy. save lives. I mean, your lives mostly. The enemy is not so much, but yeah, they they would absolutely help save your life. Artillery is helping neutralize some of these AT forces that the British are trying to take back up, and that's all thanks to oh the Italian artillery. I forgot about this. So we did get some. Already got that one. Down south, we've not seen a counterattack against the Brits, at least from what I could tell. I know I've been busy in mid, but we just haven't really seen all that much. Is that a Tiger Tank? Oh, Panther, I'm sorry. Alright, lots of Hellcats, lots of, eight, uh, lots of armor in general. And uh, we still got some repair facilities, so that's slowly getting uh, the Allies back in the shape. So not too shabby. And again, we have a good armored force we got two hellcats at the very Enemy least uh two bishops but they're more support two more hellcats and a sherman and odd is going Enemy with a alone. grant now he's getting out a lot of the british firepower and of course the reliable matilda that has gotten 20 kills so far axis are currently at one panther they have two panzer fours and is that it oh panzer three Panzer III does force the British back, but the British this time will actually may have the firepower to drive that Axis armor away. But we shall see. Here comes the Strafe. Does actually hit the uh, Gustatori and Grenadier squad quite a bit. Middle is definitely under Allied control. Nor oh my god. Don't worry, we have the fresh recruit reserves taking the territory, because why not? MG holding that sector. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. The British are doing their best to fight off the Grenadiers, they, even with the close range weapons. Strobe Troop and opening fire from afar. Seven kills so far, but again, I love the fact that this infantry section has both a Bren and a MG42. It's like, oh, mine. AT gun has been neutralized, so there goes the pack against the Matilda. Never down a Matilda. Although, what the hell is it doing in its back? Its flaps are open. That's, uh, that seems a bit weird. Maybe it's just me, but I, I feel like that would be a weak spot on a, on a tank if they had the, the armored flaps open. Maybe it's just me, chat. Maybe it's just me. 
All right, massive counterattack with Panzer threes and fours, pushing up against the Allied infantry. We could potentially have an AT grenade, but it seems like this man is uh, not. It's a repair bug. I, I know it's a bug. I just find it funny. It's just there's the flaps open. No communication from our on high. All right, we have a strike coming on in, but I think it's a fire strike, right? Yeah, why would you launch a fire strike? It's not going to do all that much. It, I mean, it'll do a little, but it's an armored force. And you're dropping fire on it. I mean, theoretically, fire would seep in through the cracks and probably burn it like the Malto cocktail, but I, I don't know. Panther being overwhelmed by the Bazooka teams and the Hellcat, so good job there. Tiger is on the field by Mason Freaks, but double Hellcat is no joke. And rear armor is also not a thing to sneeze at. Uh, this man has no AT to support. Hellcats have advantage. Panzer three coming on in though. Tiger slowly turning around. Can they knock out the Hellcats before they knock out the Tiger? One of the Hellcats goes down. Two go down. And we have a Uno reverse situation. With, with, uh, what's his name? Um, Omni losing both his Hellcats. Damn. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Crusader is on the field, driving away the infantry. Again, allies still hold mid and the northern sector for now. Axis have retaken the south, but I don't know why this is... Oh, Gusatori is pushing up against all this. Wait, hold on. What are they calling in? It's more fire, isn't it? Yes, we are impressed with your fire. Yes, it did a little bit of damage, not going to lie. Oh, well, I... Bulldozers are about to die. Uh, medical facility needs to heal the infantry. Gustatory very low. Panzer three coming on in clutch. Allies lose an, a fair amount of uh, forces in the last like minute. Axis could could be in for a counterattack if they don't do stuff like this and send the Panzer three to its grave. Oh my God! Yeah, let's send the Panzer. I'm oh, sorry, four out in the open. That's a smart play. Luckily, there is a pack gun here and the Panzer IV. Another Panzer IV to hold back that stuff. Panther is in mid, trying to fight against the Crusader and the Sherman, which he does a bit of advantage. But here comes the artillery pounding it. Also, we have a bit of smoke on it. So that white phosphorus is going to make it unable to see or fight. That's not good. Axes still hold the position for now with MG guarding. But here comes the engineers on the flank. AT shots are bouncing off the front of the Panther for right now. But eventually they crack, and by God, that Panther is cracking. Smoke is dropped, and the Panther will pull back. But that also blocks the MG from seeing, which allows the enemy MG to move up unopposed. Air support comes on in, drops bombs to maybe break through the defenses for the Brits. Brits need to heal up, and by God, that's what he's trying to do right now. 30... Four kills for that Matilda. Damn. That is a solid Matilda. Any additional... Like, I've tried to look for if there's anyone else that has, like, a, like a high kill count at all. Six kills. I think the bishops might have. Nope. Nine. I was trying to see if there's any high kill ones, but I don't think there is. No. Here comes the Hellcats along the flank. Again, I like Mr. Chuck coming over here on the side. We also have additional swarm infantry coming on in. He's right there. They're fighting off the Gusatori. So, uh, wait, is that what? Is, sorry, is that Fear Prop? I love how Fear Prop again is being used against the reserve troops that are meant to die. That's. Fire's coming down on top of them. Okay. So with the suppression and them being hit by fire, uh, they'll be... Yeah, they'll, they'll have to pull back. So they just stopped a potentially big allied threat from coming in to blast them. So not too shabby. Artillery now spots for the Panzer Force healing. It's like target acquired. Meanwhile, it seems like they may be going after the uh, overextended axis up here. Nice shot on the Sherman, but 
Potentially de uh, death to the tiger. Three Hellcats opening fire on that tiger. It stands no chance. They need heavy AT, but that uh, 36 has been long dead. Without it, the, the Hellcats can now just move in unopposed in mid. That's what exactly what Mr. Chalk is doing. Fear Prop is coming in. And that's thanks to... Oh, what is it? It has to be this player, right? Yeah, Propaganda War. Greg coming in as well to provide some fire support. Black Prince on the field. All right, without the Tiger, uh, ooh, that's 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 uh, doubling down on the uh, against the Axis. Heavy bombers just made a small approach, but Armor's pushing in with the Tiger. Massive counterattack. What the hell is happening? Grant trying to move on in. But yeah, no, massive Axis counterattack in this sector. Breaks the medical facility. Grant pulls back. I don't know for how long they were going to go in for. We have additional... Is it fire? Yep, more fire coming on in. That will stop the Brits from just walking on in. Does hurt and with the AT... Oh, sorry, Tiger Shot does kill that armored vehicle. Black Prince and Hellcats have been repositioning with the goal to counterattack fiercely against the enemy. Forces and Great Ear is immediately uh, pulls back. It's a hell of a fight, but I'll give the Germans this. I thought it would be over by now, but they came back with a good counter swing, um, and they still technically have the lead, literally by 200 and some points. Now here comes the infantry blob and the Hellcats, and actually four Hellcats. Oh, that's more than four. That's five. Oh, God. The Axis might be fucked here. AT guns need to set down. There's a lot of AT, which will absolutely help against the uh, the tank destroyers. All right, here comes additional fire support. Fear prop coming in against that. Allied air support coming on in against the Axis. Axis still pulling back. It's, it's the forever pullback, but they've lost vehicle after vehicle in the pullback. Panzer 3, take the shot. Or Panzer 4, I'm sorry. The Tiger was not bouncing a single shot. Yeah, pretty much. AT guns are still alive. They just need some medics. Medics going elsewhere. Oh, additional fire support coming in. I think it's the Allied zeroing. No, wait, what? What am I missing? It's not creep. Is it creep mirage? Oh no, it's recon artillery. Duh. Doi. Small counterattack up north against the Black Prince, but Panzer IV, you are not a heavy tank. Sorry to say. You are a medium tank. You are, you're going to have a rough time versus that Black Prince. British and the Hellcats uh, returning from their other battle. Come on in. Grenades are thrown at the infantry section. Drive them off, but the Black Prince is taking it like a champ. Double Panthers having a rough time, and four Hellcats have made it th their appearance. This Panther stands no chance, and he fires through the smoke. We have some bouncing going on, but we have no anti like infantry, like grenades or anything to stop the Hellcats from pushing up. There goes one. Artillery's not hitting the back lines. Hellcats could give chase further. He will. You saw the strobe trooping and stuff, but I'm saying it's not something that'll like snare them. And now here comes all the allied armor coming in to wipe the floor with whatever the infantry is left. Oh, the strobe trooping vet three is put down. Grants are just coming in to clear house with the Hellcats. It's trying to help, but again, they're mostly firing against, uh, well, targeting more, or they're supposed to target more armor they have tree fires coming on in that could delay them capping mid but no you still have half the point not on fire plus the south is being capped by the brits a uh, flak for ling not a bad idea if she got the planes we have a single panzer three we have a single panzer four i think most oh we have a tiger back on the field the stream has a panther so the out the axis combined so have a decent chunk of armor it's just in my opinion i don't think it's gonna do well against 
all the Hellcats still on the field, plus support units. Grenade is thrown. Does decent amount to the Blob. The Blob still holds mid with a lot of bazookas. Panther may have to worry here in a second. Yep, some of the shots hit. Fear pop coming in to force them away. Tiger opening fire. Again, up. Oh, we have more of that. So, well, something's coming in. Is it heavy? Heavy bombers! Oh, this is going to be good. They can escape. They will not. Heavy bombers clear the armor off the hill. Uh, the medical truck's like, um, you know what? Uh, you're going to set up, but I'm leaving. See ya. And all the fire support's coming on in. Whatever Axis counterattack they're trying to muster is just being pushed away by the Black Prince and Grants. They do kill a single Grant, but the armor... Oh my god, the armor's just being forced back down the hill pretty easily. Looks like the Allies are near Pop Cap, so I don't see a... Well, mostly. Some of them are lower. But, yep. I think we had a surrender. We do. Uh, again, good play by the Axis. They were... Definitely doing pretty well, all things considered. But alas, they just couldn't keep up the pressure on the Axis, on the Allies, and the Allies just overwhelmed them with tank destroyers. Or at the very least, they didn't have counters to the tank destroyer, just spam. A lot of their infantry didn't have, like, snares or anything. And the AT guns I saw, they had a decent amount. They just, I, I don't think they were set up. Because they would have just wiped the floor if you had, like, four AT guns opening fire. Kind of like what the Hellcats did against the armor. All right, so uh, the person who submitted this game, by the way, was Mr. Chalk. So he had uh, t he had top, top damage taken. Top damage actually went to Omni. But yeah, I th we'll see here in a second why. But uh, I'm going to look at the uh, enemy vehicle kills. And by God, they uh, the Allies did a pretty good job of killing vehicles. Kill-wise, uh, it was actually OD that actually got top kills on the... Um, Axis side, yeah, uh, top kills goes to Steve McQueef, uh, th the name, of course. Oh, God. Uh, and then uh, top damage as well goes to him. So, pretty good job overall. Let's double check the units, see if there's anything of note that I missed. Uh, Stroke Troopin did okay. Oh, but Panzer Grandier did better than all. Uh, again, people say Panzer Grandier sucks. And then you see this, it's like, really? 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 <laughs> anyway. Uh, vehicles, uh, Panther, deployed a lot of them, not the best in terms of survivability. I think you needed better, again, more mines in the north to cover their retreat and more infantry to snare as they pull back, or at least something to cover the Panthers as they pull back. Um, Sherman did okay on kills, uh, not, not too much to, to talk about. Uh, Gustatory, you know, for, a lot of them were deployed, they did okay. Um... Nothing really big there. Bishops did okay. Never lost any. So that's a big one. Infantry section did very well. 47 kills. Um, again, uh, let's see. Not too much to talk about there. Gradiers did okay. 16 kills for the Rangers, but there was only one squad that died. Uh, Bulldozer did 20 kills, but you got two of them. I'm just trying to see here. Tiger Tank, um, it did, did, you know, it did, it did, it did something. A Panzer Force did slightly better, given the situation. Panzer Grenadiers did okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look for, like, big things. Like, infantry section, decent amount of vehicle kills. Same thing with these Grants. Uh, 34 infantry kills, 3 vehicle kills. Not too shabby. But that, oh, that solo Matilda, I forgot about that thing. That thing was pretty solid. That, that did a lot of damage. That definitely helped. Uh, so, who was it? Who had the best overview? It was Omni. What was the best thing that Omni had? I'm kind of curious. Uh, the hell, I mean, I guess just Hellcat damage done. Um, interesting how this gun carriage did that much vehicle damage. That might have just been shooting down aircraft. But, uh, yeah. 
I'm not seeing anything else, so it might have just been the aircraft kind of boosted his score a little bit. Anyway, that's game. Let me know what you guys think. This has been Grey Shell 17, reminding you to support the channel, like, subscribe, do what you guys do. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is Grey Shot 17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malab, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyro Shark, Tony B95, Epic Pleb. Thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.